Welcome to the Assist Podcast. After our little break we had last week, we are back with NCAA tournament action starting this week. It's March Madness season, and joining me today to break down the bracket is my own brother, the former King of Rage, Max Schwartz. Max, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine, Zach. How about you? I'm not too bad. Do you miss me yet? I, I miss you since... Since you left, Aww. like I, mi- I missed you since the, the minute you left. Oh, that's adorable. You're the best little brother. <laughs> You're only I'm your only one. That's right. The only <laughs> little brother I have. Max, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I am currently a junior at North Ridgeville High School, and I'm also a student pilot. So I, I fly I fly airplanes. I have 19 hours behind the cockpit of a Piper Tomahawk, and I plan to finish my private pilot's license by the end of the summer and i plan on going to the the university of bowling green to study isn't it isn't it bowling green state university whatever (laughs) okay just just work on that work on that a little bit okay uh very very cool very great intro max uh takes a lot of pictures of planes uh knows all about it he helps me with my flights very cool brother um so you're also a big college basketball guy, and I think you've probably watched more college basketball than me this year. I had to catch up uh, with the past week uh, watching when I was home all all week. So the bracket was released Sunday night as I was on the plane, which wasn't very helpful. Mm. Um, and a couple surprising notes from the committee. Uh, Joe Lenardi's lone miss this year was that TCU was left out of the bracket. Belmont was put in. Temple was also included, North Carolina State left out, and another surprising thing that you mentioned to me was that Michigan State getting the two seed in Duke's region after winning both the Big Ten regular season title and the Big Ten tournament title. Uh, Max, uh, your initial reaction to the bracket, was there anything truly surprising to you that you noticed other than the Michigan State thing? I mean, not really. I didn't notice any, I mean, just... I mean, the Michigan State thing would kind of intrigue me. Does you feel like they got screwed? Yeah, because like the committee is like, "Oh, you won the Big Ten championship! Congratulations! Your prize is getting stuck with Duke." Right, the best uh, team in the uh, nation. Yeah, I thought it was interesting that three ACC teams got one seeds. Obviously, the one seeds were Duke, Virginia, North Carolina, Gonzaga. Two seeds: Michigan, Michigan State. Tennessee and Kentucky. So, I mean, three ACC teams, and then, of course, they finished one, two, three in the AP poll. Um, that was certainly interesting as well, just seeing that play out. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I think uh, it, it mainly went well. Like I said, I'm happy Belmont was included, uh, as we're going to talk about in a second here. I think Belmont's really good uh, that a mid major team was included over a middling Power Five team, such as North Carolina State. So, that's my view as well. Get the little guys mm-hmm. in. Mm-hmm. I like that. Do you have a team that you think a double-digit seed, perhaps, is going to provide a lot of madness? I'm going to have to go with Ja Morant and Murray State. From the Ohio Valley Conference. They actually defeated Belmont in the conference championship, and they're playing Marquette in the first round. So that's interesting because Morant is projected to be a top three pick, if I'm correct. Yeah. And he is averaging, what, 20 points and 10 assists a game? Something like that. So you think they have a real shot? Do you think they win one game, two games? What do you think? I mean, they can probably they can eat, they can can probably compete with Marquette. Yeah. But I'm not sure if, if they could get past Florida State. I may or may not have Florida State losing in the first round. What? Okay, I'll, I'll get into some of mine. I have more than that. Do you have any more? Uh... I think Waf- Wofford could definitely shake shake some things up. I like that. Yes. Okay. I want to talk about Wofford. Wofford is 29-4 and four from the Southern Conference. They are a seven seed in the Midwest region. They play Seton Hall in round uno, and then they would go and play Kentucky should Kentucky defeat the powerhouse Albilein Christian. Hmm. So Wofford, four of their top five players in minutes per game. I was looking today shoot over 39% from three-point land. Fletcher McGee averages 21 points a game, 43% three-point shooter. Cameron Jackson, 15 points per game, 39%. 
Nathan Hoover, 13%, 46%. And Storm Murphy, 49% from three. Those are very good three-point shooting numbers. Mm-hmm. I think Wofford will beat Kentucky and make it to the Sweet 16. You really think so? I put it in the bracket. You are bold, my friend. I put it in the bracket. If you look, if you look, there are a lot of double-digit seeds in mid-majors in the Sweet 16 recently. In the last five years, there's at least been one double-digit seed or mid-major in the Sweet 16, including Loyola Chicago last year. I think Wofford makes some noise this year. I think Wofford will beat Kentucky. Wow. It's in my bracket. Put it it's down. Bold, it's a bold strategy. I think Belmont will also make the Sweet 16. Okay, you are, like, very, very bold. Belmont has to play Temple. I believe they play tonight. We're recording Tuesday. So this could be completely factually incorrect. Literally by the time this is released tomorrow. However, <laughs> I think Belmont will beat Temple. And you watched a lot of Big Ten basketball. Is Maryland very good? I mean, they're okay. So just okay? You know what? We're picking Belmont. <laughs> okay, so then the, the next matchup is LSU-Yale, the winner of that game. Have you heard about what's happening with LSU recently? They seem yeah, to have some problems. <laughs> I've heard that their coach like got suspended for like trying to bribe players or something like that. Precisely. So you know what that means? It's another team for Belmont to beat. Oh my gosh. I think Michigan State would then beat Belmont. But I have Belmont in the Sweet 16. They're 26 and 5, runner ups in the OVC. Dylan Windler, six foot eight guard, averages twenty one points. 11 rebounds, and shoots 43% from the three. That sounds good to me. I was looking at the mock draft today. He's projected as a high second-round pick. Sounds like a talented guy to me that will knock out Maryland and LSU. Those are my two big ones, Belmont and Wofford, for, that will win multiple games this year. Interesting. So, And a couple other upsets, I think. I like Liberty over Mississippi State. Uh, the twelve five match a twelve five matchup typical, um, a very balanced team. I like UC Irvine over Kansas State because the Ant Eaters, and they also won thirty games. And then I like I said Vermont over Florida State. Vermont fifty six and fourteen over the last two years. Wow, that's act- that's really really good. Yeah, last year they didn't make the tournament because they were beaten by a certain team called UMBC. Uh, who <laughs> then beat Virginia. Exactly. <laughs> I also have Funny. New Mexico State over Auburn, another 12-5 matchup, because, well, I don't really think Auburn's that great. I know they were really highly seeded and they just won the SEC tournament, but they seem to be really reliant on forcing turnovers, and that team's usually either do really well or really bad. So once again, that pick could be stupid too, but I'm just going to take chance and go with New Mexico State. Like I said before, I'm going to say it again. You're very bold. So you have no other double-digit seeds moving on once. Have you watched like March Madness the past couple of years? It's madness. You have yeah. Murray State and Wofford. No one else. Honestly, I just don't think anybody else is going to make a run. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, give me your final four. So for my final four, I have Duke... Gonzaga, Virginia, and North Carolina. So you picked all one seeds? Uh Uh-huh. Tell me why you picked each of those teams. Because these teams are, they are very, very, very good, and they're very dominant. Um, Especially with, like, Duke. They got Zion, and they got Cam Reddish, and R.J. Barrett. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. You got Zion on the paint, and then you got Cam and R.J. on the perimeter shooting shooting three is like like there's no tomorrow yep and then virginia they got like they have kyle guy who's like a very very good three-point shooter great name <laughs> and then i just picked gonzaga in north carolina because they looked really good recently <laughs> i mean that's true i know gonzaga got blown out by st mary's recently um <laughs> in the uh west what is it, West Coast Conference or something, title game? Uh, I but think so. They're loaded. I mean, they're I'm quote-unquote mid-major, but they're they're very good. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll, 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 excuse me, I will add <laughs> some more to that because I have Duke, North Carolina, Virginia, and surprise, surprise, Michigan. <laughs> so 
I called you out on the whole number one seed thing, but as I talked about, I went with some uh, interesting double-digit seeds in the first couple rounds, but then when I got to the heart of the bracket, really, I looked in, I mean, these three seeds of Purdue, Houston, Texas Tech, and LSU don't impress me a lot, nor do the four seeds. I think Mm -hmm. Kansas is interesting because they're playing in the Midwest region in Kansas City, so they could possibly poise a problem for North Carolina. However, I picked Kansas a lot, and they burn me a lot. They're usually the reason I don't win the bracket. I'll do very well in the first couple rounds, and Kansas will be like my runner-up, and then Kansas loses in the Elite Eight, and it's stupid. So I'm not doing that this year. (laughs) I'm not doing that. Like that one year they lost to Michigan, and the Michigan ended up uh, making it to the national championship and lost lost to Louisville. The Trey Burke year. Of course I remember that. That's like one of my – I remember where I was for that moment. Do you remember where you were? No. I think uh, – I don't know if you were with us. Uh, it was Thanksgiving – no, it wasn't Thanksgiving. It must have been after Passover because uh, Dad and I at least were in Michigan in at the cabin watching. I don't know if you were there or not. I but, think I was. Okay. So, yeah, I remember Trey Burke drilling that like 35-footer. And now Trey Burke is a useless um, NBA player. <laughs> so is Nick Stauskas. He plays for the Cavs. You know, I went to that Cavs game. He's terrible. He was horrible. Even though the Cavs beat the Pistons last night? We didn't have Blake Griffin. That's fine. <laughs> the six seed is where we're going to be. Okay, anyway, back to my final four. So Duke um, is the best team in the uh, nation, reflected by the fact that they are indeed the best overall seed, number one overall seed. Um, as you said, they have three top five prospects in Zion, who I watched more this week, and just at least twice a game, you're just like, Holy shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so th- there's that element. Uh, Cam Reddish, obviously, who I believe was the actual number one recruit coming out of high school uh, when the three of them came out. Of, uh, I think he was. If yeah. Because I, I, I looked and I and I saw his name and I saw Reddish and then I saw Zion. Yeah, R.J. Barrett was either third or fourth, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's interesting because Reddish is probably the third best player on the team. Uh, and then R.J. Barrett, who is, uh, along with Jean Morant, possibly being the uh, second overall pick in the NBA draft this year. So uh, they're pretty loaded, uh, to say the least. And they're coached by Mike Krzyzewski. So um, that's the actual <laughs> pronunciation pr- pronunciation as well. Um, sure about that? So they look good. Uh, the biggest opponent for them would have to be Michigan State, who I think is pretty good, but like we've discussed, has gotten got kind of screwed. I mean, if Michigan State were going up against Virginia or Gonzaga, I, I'd feel a lot better about possibly putting them in. So if there's a team that comes out of that East region that is not Duke, it'd be Michigan State. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. I would totally agree. Okay. Um, but UCF will beat Duke in the second round, I think. <laughs> well, well, led by Taco Fall. I'm a bit worried that Zion's going to, like, dunk – over Taco Fall and Taco Fall is seven foot six. For the people who don't know this, he's the UCF center from Africa. Uh, if he does that, I think Taco would just get like all of Zion's undercarriage in his face. And I don't know if Taco would like that. So, um, uh, yeah, that, that's possible uh, over the weekend should UCF defeat VCU. Um, okay, then we move on. We have the West region. We have Michigan. Oh, boy. This is a homer pick. I I gave myself two homer picks. One was that Michigan was a two seed, which means they go to the final four for me. That's like a rule. The other was that I picked UCF to beat VCU for no reason. Uh, So Michigan, uh, I have over Gonzaga. I think Gonzaga, I mean, they're good. They have good players. They have legit NBA talent now. Like I was saying, Mark Few, great coach. But Michigan... Is different this year. Mm-hmm. Michigan plays defense. They play very good defense. In fact, they are second in the country in adjusted defense, according to Ken Palm. How about that? Wow. I think they will stop Brandon Clark and Gonzaga. And I think they will make the Final Four, where they will get Zioned. <laughs> Moving to the other side of the bracket, we've got the South region with Virginia as the number one seed. Now, I think this is a good draw for Virginia. They have Tennessee. I'm not sure Tennessee's that good. No, they're overrated. 
Villanova, sneaky as a six seed. I think they could beat Tennessee. I don't think I picked it, but I think that's a good game. I sat there for a while. And Wisconsin's a five seed. Kansas State's a four seed. This region sucks. I think Virginia, the year after last year's historic loss, I think they will make the Final Four because that just seems like a team of destiny, right? That's a great narrative. Yeah. Okay. Midwest region, we have North Carolina, who is very deep, a very deep team, led by Cameron Johnson, a senior, 16 points a game, Kobe White, point guard who set the record for freshman points, Nasser Little, who was their best player early on at Sox, doesn't actually suck, underperformed, and Luke May, the senior old guy. So, I think, Mm. as I already stated, I think Wofford will knock out Kentucky, which is big. I don't think Auburn's very good. Kansas is on a down year, and I'm not picking Kansas this year. Uh, You have Houston in there. I don't know if I trust Houston. Of course, I didn't go to the Houston-UCF game, but I don't know if I trust Houston. Seems a little weird. Therefore, North Carolina makes the Final Four. All right. So, why didn't you pick Michigan? Do you not let yourself get homer picks? I don't even know what that means. A homer pick is when you, like, pick a team just because you're from there. So for us, it'd be Michigan or Detroit, or Michigan State for you. You, you flip allegiances very often. <laughs> yes, thank you for once again calling me out. Of course. So you have no... Why, why Gonzaga over Michigan? Let's argue. Honestly, I don't think I was really thinking when I picked, <laughs> when I filled this out. <laughs> So what, you want, you're going to switch now on air? No. Okay, all right, I'm, you're going to stay with I'm sticking with my gut. Okay, sticking with your gut. All right, that's fair. It's better than picking the teams based off of uh, um, colors or mascots like I know some people do. That's dumb. I agree. So you know why my final four will be the final four? Because mm. there's this stat that the top 20 – teams in both adjusted offense and adjusted defense, according to Kempom. I forgot what the number is, but it's a very high percentage of those teams make the Final Four. Do you know the seven teams that qualify there to make the Final Four? I'm going to guess two. Okay. And the, the two of those teams are Duke and Michigan. True. So here you go. Here's the full list. Virginia ranks second in adjusted offense and fifth in adjusted defense. Gonzaga won 16. Duke, 6-6, six and six. Michigan State, 4-8, Michigan, 18-2, North Carolina, 7-10, Kentucky, 13-12. So basically, that's all the one and two seeds, except for Tennessee, who I highlighted, I'm suspect of, and no other seed. So this supports the notion that we're going pretty chalk here. Who's winning? The championship? Yeah. I got Duke over North Carolina. Wow. So you think it's going to be the rivalry, basically the equivalent of Ohio State, Michigan, probably for basketball is in the national championship game. And you think Duke comes out up out on top. Yep. Wow. They just played uh, in the ACC tournament final, didn't they? Mm hmm. And I watched it. Yeah. Anything stand out to you from uh, either team other than Zion? No. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) That's helpful. That's good analysis. Um, I disagree with you. Are you ready for this? No. Duke's going to lose in the title game. What? To Virginia. (laughs) Virginia is led by the best name in sports. Kyle Guy. 15.6 15.6 points per game. And as you alluded to earlier with this three-point shooting, 46% from three. It's pretty good. Jeez. Yeah. They are also led by possible top five pick DeAndre Hunter. 15.1 points per game. 45.7% shooting from the three. They also have possible first-round pick Ty Jerome in that backcourt. That's pretty good. And I think, after last year, being the first... The first one seed to lose to a 16 seed in history. I think this year they win the national championship. 
they defeat Zion because you know what? That's called the team of destiny right there. And if I'm being truthful, I'm only picking this because like 40% of the country is picking Duke. And statistically, that means I should not pick Duke if I want to win. <laughs> that is my theory. I think Virginia will beat North Carolina and avenge their two earlier losses and defeat Duke. How do you feel about that one? I still disagree with you, but I see where you come from now. You don't trust Tony Bennett, do you? No, I do not. (laughs) I don't know if I do either. The biggest thing for me with Tony Bennett is it's almost like the similar career arc to uh, Jay Wright from Villanova. You know, the uh, choking and choking and choking consistently like Virginia has. Mm. And finally, finally, they win one and then everything happens. Virginia Virginia will become a powerhouse, more so than they already are Mm. in the Sensei tournament. What do you think about that? Um, well, I guess I can agree with that. (laughs) Are you going to join the uh, assist um, challenge that we have? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? (laughs) I don't know. Are you not going to support me? (laughs) Zach, I already support you enough. Okay, this may be factual, but okay. (laughs) All right, there's our bracket picks. We'll tweet them out. We'll let you know what you think. Uh, tell us what you think, and hopefully we're mildly correct. Who knows? All right, Max, you ready to play our game? Yes. I'm just going to ask you random things because this is going to be funny. I'm just going to grill you. All right, are you ready? (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Collect yourself. Stop laughing. What's your nickname? Uh, Maxie. That's cute. What is one thing that describes you? Intelligent. Okay. When and how did we meet? You're my brother. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We met in the hospital. Actually, I don't even know if I was there. <laughs> Maybe not. We'll have to have mom and dad write in the fact check if I was there at when you were born or not. Oh, my God. If not, you came home and I was like, what is this little thing? <laughs> Do you believe in aliens? No. Really? You think we're the only creature, not creature, you think we're the only planet with life? I mean, like, what evidence is there? I don't know, just the fact that the universe is massive? And right, we only make up a small percentage of it. It's true. Do you believe in aliens now? I guess. There we go. But we're probably never going to see them anyway, so... That's true. What can you cook? A grilled cheese. Good answer. What superpower would you most want to have? Super string so I can kick your butt every day. Okay. What one person has influenced you the most? (sighs) It's a deep sigh. (laughs) Um... I'm going to go with my favorite actor, Ryan Reynolds, because he's just absolutely hilarious. He also influences your haircut, correct? Yes. Okay, cool. Is that also the famous person you would most like to meet? That's what I was going to ask you afterwards. Yes. All right, ready? Now, I'm going to ask you questions about me, and you have to tell me what you think is the answer, okay? All right. When is my birthday? Oh, crap. Are you kidding me? (laughs) Okay, is it April 28th? No! What? It's April 29th, you dork. Okay, I was close. (sighs) Goodness gracious. What are two personality traits I have? Intelligent. And... Humor. Aw, thanks. Those are two good ones. Am I more afraid of spiders or snakes? Spiders? I don't know which I'm more more afraid of, actually. That's an unfair question. (laughs) 
Which game or reality show would I do best on? Mm. I don't know. All right, that's that's a great answer. <laughs> <laughs> Have we ever fought? Yes. About what? Uh, we fought like over the PlayStation. Yeah, we definitely did when we were younger. We also fought when I would kick your ass in Madden. <laughs> you beat me once and got cocky and then thought you would destroy me all the time. And then I just ran the ball down your throat. No, you always you always kill, kick my butt with the option. The option's the best. That was – that NCAA football 11 was my peak. That There is nothing – that I will be better at than I was that game. Even like doctoring, when I become a doctor, I will not be better than I was at that game in the moment. I never lost in that game. And that's the truth. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything you want to ask me? No. All right. Well, you're no fun. (laughs) Well, Max, I hope you have a great rest of your week. I hope you have a good day. Thank you. And I definitely miss you a little bit. Just a little bit? Just a little bit. Yeah, right. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for coming on. You're welcome. Thank you for having me on. Hopefully your conservative bracket isn't crap. Oh, trust me, it isn't. Happy March Madness. Yep, happy March Madness, everybody. Thank you for listening to the Assist Podcast. If you like the show, go drop a five-star rating. That really helps us keep the show going. If you want to stay updated with all of the podcast episodes, hit the subscribe button and also go follow our Twitter, which is at Assist underscore podcast, and our Instagram, which is now the Assist Podcast. And you can write any emails, uh, any suggestions you have to theassistpod at yahoo.com, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>